Have you ever wondered where you're going with your life, your purpose? And if you have discovered it, have you ever wondered when go time will be? Hello, I'm Pamela Sylvan, the Mojo Maker, back with another hot mojo tip. Today, let's talk about getting off of that place in which you find yourself still standing and stuck and bewildered. When is it going to be go time, guys? You realize the clock is ticking furiously, don't you? And if you're at a certain age, like I'm at a certain age now, just had another birthday, happy birthday to me, there isn't a lot of time left. If you think about all of the really high energy years you have at your disposal, the time where you're not going to be getting old and sort of feeble and, and, and not in the game anymore, how many years is that for some of you? Probably a whole lot less than you've realized if you actually do the math. So if you're sitting around wondering and waiting for that special day or the day in which you feel good or inspired or motivated, the time and the days and the weeks and the months and the years keep ticking by. Here's a secret for you. There is no special day. Today is that day. It's it. It's the only one you have. You're not promised tomorrow. You have no idea what's going to happen to you when you step outside your door, either coming or going from work or to the bank or to the supermarket, you have absolutely no idea. So the only time is now. And yes, I know, I know that you're scared. I know that it's not comfortable. I know that you keep going around in a circle in your brain about all the things that didn't work in the past and all the ways that things aren't going to work now and all the things that people have told you and all the things that you have imagined and scared yourself with. I know I've done this to myself and occasionally still do it to myself. But it's to take that step forward that you don't think that you can take. And I know you've read this in countless self-help books. You've heard this before. I'm not bringing anything that you have not heard before. But I think it's time for us to stop reading these things and to start doing all of those beautifully inspired things that we find ourselves reading. We need to act upon it. We can't just continue reading these things and giving you know, each other a high five. It wasn't that a great read. It wasn't that a great book and doing the ticks and likes on Facebook and social media and posting the book that you just read. Put the book down and go outside. Go out and meet people. Go out and say, hey, this is what I do. Here's my business card. Here's my thing. And get things going. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You might have a full-time job somewhere. Maybe you want a raise or maybe you want a promotion or maybe you want new connections or maybe you want a new relationship, a new love relationship. You have to get up and do something. One of my favorite quotes was from that um, TV show um, Family Guy and uh, the main character, I can't even remember his name, but the father in that had um, blew the money that he was given by his wife to put together his son's birthday party and didn't know how to tell her. So he was on the back step um, uh, trying to figure out what to do. And the dog that talks apparently came up and said to him, if you plan on pulling a miracle out of your ass, you have to stand up. And the same philosophy applies for us here today. If we want to pull a miracle out, we have to get up. We have to stand up. We have to stand up to the boogeyman in our head. We have to stand up to the obstacles in our way. We have to stand up to our old stories that no longer work. We have to stand up to so many different things. But the biggest thing to stand up to is yourself. You're the only thing in your way of getting what you want. You're the only thing standing in the way of the next best level and version of yourself. You're going to scare yourself. That's the name of the game. This game called your life is a game in which in order to champion and get to the end, you have to continually get around yourself. And if you need counseling, if you need therapy, if you need a life coach, if you need a mentor, and I can help you with that for courage and confidence, you need to know how to get around those places in which you continually stand and get stuck and frighten yourself. Today's the day, guys. There is no other time but now. What is it? Sit down and figure out what it is that's standing in your way today, not for tomorrow or next week, today. What's standing in your way today, and let's get past it, all right? If you want to write me a note, please do, and we can chat about that. We can chat online. We can chat however you want to chat about what's standing in your way and how you need to move past that particular spot right now to get what you want, okay? We're all going through it. 
I have another next level I'm going to. I have to get out of my way too. All right. So no one is free of this. It doesn't matter how accomplished they look or what, if, what they've already done. The next thing that they need to go for, they will continually get in their way. So you're not any different. You're not special. You don't have any special dispensations on which you need to go through and get past. We all have to go through in like manner. Okay. So get out of your way today and conquer. This is Pamela Soba, the Mojo Maker, back with another hot mojo tip. Wishing you a conquering day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.